This year we are going to celebrate 110 years of Siemens in Canada and over the last century Siemens has invested a lot in new factories, new offices, in mergers and acquisitions. Siemens Canada together with its partners is making industries smarter, more efficient, resource friendly. We are transforming the energy sector through our smart grid technologies, you know, decarbonizing, facilitating energy transition. We are strongly involved in the electrification of the transportation sector. I'm responsible for IT at Siemens Canada. Innovation and digitalization is at the core of what we do. I'm very proud being part of a company who is really trying to improve the life of Canadians through implementation of technology. And through these kind of reinvestments, the highly technical resources not only have access to the latest and greatest technology, but they also have the opportunity to really work within ecosystems to solve the challenges that Canada is facing. Oakville benefits from having global powerhouses like Siemens investing and reinvesting in our community because they're magnets for all kinds of other businesses and they attract talent, so it's a win-win-win situation. For us, we were one of the first companies which announced that we will go carbon neutral by 2030 and by 2020 we have already achieved 50% of our milestones so we have a strong plan going towards a net zero. We are a company whose lifeblood is innovation so what we enjoy in Canada is the focus of the government on innovation, on ecosystems. What is also very very important in Canada is the access and the availability of talent. Canada is a beautiful country and also an excellent place to raise a family. Being part of a very diverse workforce in Canada, then you naturally develop the skills, learning about the cultures. Diversity is very important when it comes to topics like ideation and innovation. Companies around the world are wise to the fact that the 21st century belongs to Canada. There's unbelievable room to grow here unlimited opportunity.